Morning folks, Monday morning. Hope you enjoyed that little one yesterday. Bit of a struggle to do. Hey, welcome new subscribers. Thank you for your comments and likes. Yeah, still feeling a bit. Ugh. Oh, we got this one here. It was in last week. We got some gas struts now to put on the ramp. And there's a door lock inside to deal with. So I'm going to have a route around the store, see what we can find for the door lock. And then, uh, yeah, we'll get it lifted up in the air and get the gas struts changed on the ramp. Well, Sunday afternoon. I've got my uses now. I'm checking on the cows and calves. The one up there is calves. This morning, not a half a calf. She's cleansed. It's like years since I used to do this. But I haven't seen this view for a long time. The other side of the road, but yeah, that's back towards Ebba Gorge. And going on back round the rest of the Mendips. Let's go and check the other ones. So we're up in the uh, newly tidied up stores area. And we've had a route around. There's a box down there. But we got one of these. That should be the right one. Different colour, but it'll do the job. So push the button. So that'll be a simple fix. There we'll go and, uh, yeah. As you can see, yeah, all this was done the other day. Electrical stuff. Probably none of it we'll ever use again, but at least we know what's what and it's looking tight. Right, this is a simple fix. There's only a couple of screws to take out. And here, we'll pop the new one in. There's one in, I'll say new one there. And it does. Yeah, it looks about the same. Yeah, that'll do. So we'll uh, fit that one on. And just like that, sorted. Well, we've just had a delivery of three seats that have been recovered for 12.50. And some new uh, seat gaiters. Very tidy job. But that's the last of my fabric gone now. So we're going to have to try and find something similar or a bit similar. Because that was the last of that. It's gone. No more available. There we've got the new gas struts there. Got one off. We'll get them bolted on and then uh, do the same the other side. Hopefully that'll be this sort of job. Another one wrapped up out the way for the day. There we go. Two nice shiny new gas struts fitted. And we got a farmer down there borrowing the airline. Blows radiator out. The old um, fast track was getting a bit bit toasty apparently. Now we're on with the um, lever box for 1250. Got the new decal fitted on there. All these uh, plated up, putting all the various brackets and things back on. Washer on there and the nut, and then they should be squished up and be about right. Let me get the little uh, tabs on there. Yeah, the brain isn't working too great this morning. Probably lack of food. Not that I want to eat much. Anyway, we found the rest of these bits and pieces. And hunted round and found some new ones of these ready for the uh the stops they go on the top of this and so we're fortunate with this one we've still got the original knobs so they're on so we'll assemble the uh, the stops on there now oh, looking like brand new please with that another little bit more of that jigsaw puzzle done so yeah this is not the one that we've just done this is one i've got in stock for myself for a 1200 that's missing it but we need to make a cover for it for the other one upstairs so we've got a bit of two mil steel so we'll start making the shape and getting the appropriate bends in and holes for it as it happens i just remembered we stripped one out of another 1250 the other day so we've got the pattern here ready just to mark it out chop it fold it drill the holes Easy. -ish. Well, hopefully we've got the measurements right. We've got enough there for now for the bend each way. So we're going to get this folded up and offer it up. The issue we have with the brake press is because of the shape of it, the press gets in the way for that reverse bend. So at least I've got the box pan folder. I can uh, do that reverse bend with this one. Uh, need two hands. Well, we got that folded up, and that looks sitting there quite nicely. So we'll get and drill the holes out now. 
but at least we can test fit it on that. Well, I'm pleased with that. It's on. A couple of the holes, a little tiny bit out, those two there, but just made them fit. But all the bolts are in. Quarter UNC thread. All fits, looks happy. No sharp edges on it. Probably just take that little bit off there, but... Another bit more made. Uh, trip back into the boys in Wells because we need some bits making up. These are the, well, this is an old one, the pins for 1250 for the steering, which I've got a customer that wants a couple, an upgrade on what was in the 1200. So we've got that and the old bearing for size. I've got to get some new ones of these made up, but you can't get in this material, so it'll be in the machine nylon as I've done before. And also to go with it some thrust washers there's a box of bits in the back there's a box of bits in the back to get on the way to flying fergie man because he's under pressure to uh, get his done ready for september so you got all the window seals rubbers everything needs tank seal the lot so we'll get that uh, off and away in the post for him today well we're just up here checking the cattle they're all present and correct we brought dave but he's not very happy are you little dave you don't like cattle. So we're all there. Yeah, we look right nose. We'll go and check that lot down there. Morning folks, it's Tuesday morning. I'm pleased to report I'm feeling well, I wouldn't say normal, but because I'm never normal, but a lot better than I was. So again, thank you for your comments. That was well certainly one way to lose weight over a few days. Anyway, we're just going to shoot off down the glass to read to pick up the injectors for the 575 because they've been done. But we're still waiting on the injector pump because that's what I've got for testing. But the company that's used for doing that have got apparently four big V10 RNLI lifeboat engines to be sorted out. So they take priority. Fair enough. Uh, yeah, what we're we going to do today? Well, we can get those injectors in. That'll be something done on that one. And who knows what's going to develop today. We'll see when we get there. So, uh, yeah, a load of paperwork done this morning. As usual, early doors. Um, yeah, let's go get these bits. Oh, Julian's another mad one like me in early doors. But we've come back with a load more goodies. We've got the, uh, we got the, the injectors. And we've got a load of battery cables and fittings for our 1250 so yeah let's get back we're back here now with bits and pieces also this battery terminal on the 575 that was busted when we took it apart it's gone a bit thin so yeah got a new one so i'll get those screws undone hopefully they'll come apart and that uh, new positive one will go on there well we've had to use the old screws because the new ones weren't long enough to make any difference to that to pull up tight so they're a bit longer but same thread they're in little quick fix on this one well i knew we had a box around here with tape and electrical tape and i've been hunting around for it and i found it it's labeled up here electrical tape we need some red so now we've got some decent size uh, battery cable we've got it laid out roughly where it's gonna go so we can get an end put on that one ready to go under the starter motor. I think I'm going to do an upgrade on these because usually the battery is just earth straight to the chassis at the back there. But unless you've got good connections, you can have starting issues. So I'm going to run a black cable direct from the batteries to the starter motor. And then obviously it will be earthed from the starter motor to the chassis like it should be. Just to improve starting with bad earths, basically. I've had it before, seen it before. So... A little upgrade for the sake of a bit of extra length of cable. We will put the earth strap there to the chassis as well, but just to improve starting. So uh, we'll get this end trimmed up. Terminal put on that. We can get it roughly to the length because obviously it's got to run through the cab to go to the battery box. That's interesting. I found the, uh, the old cable that came off of it to uh, retrieve the metal sheathing, which I'll just give a blast up with a bit of paint on it. I took it off. Cables melted through there. Wonder if that happened years ago. So at least we've got the uh, metal sheathing because you can't get this anymore. You get the plastic stuff. So quick shot blast, bit of silver paint, and you can put that on. Can't put that on there yet because we've still got the rest of the loom which is kind of dangling there. 
to fit to that earth strap onto the chassis bolted through handy bit of tinkering there so we're just going to set up the uh, high low switch so uh, you can see the rail moves in there so i'll get this put in and make sure it actually does what it's supposed to when it's in the neutral position so we'll carefully get that screwed in we'll put the meter in it Let's see if we have continuity in the right place it hello what are you doing here it's tuesday it is yeah didn't know you were coming in what's mr jcb had the day off to give you a break no oh okay so what have you done with the kids abandon them on the side of the road somewhere yeah. <laughs> oh, that's a surprise. I better make you a coffee, then we can do some work. Yeah. I'll come back to this in a minute or two. Right, neutral. Into high. Back to neutral. Into low. That seems to work. Prince's got the best job over there. She's back on the case with uh, 575, cleaning out the holes. You having fun over there? Yeah. Back doing something constructive. Yeah, this is the sort of thing I like doing, isn't it? Happy days. Surprised to see you today. I wasn't expecting that. Anyway, we got this set up. So we know that's right. So we're just laying out the rest of the wiring here. Got the connectors in there. They're the ones that go for the back lights and the diff lock brake lights, whatever. So they can be through to there. We've got the rest of this loom here for the front lights, side lights, indicators, and the starting solenoid, etc. So we've got the rest of the room roughly laid out here, which we can zip, zip tied out the way. I'll see loom plugs there, which are different on this because we didn't have the originals. But you might remember we sorted something out in the front of that. So we can get this laid over. Out the way, we'll go and wire at the front lights and down to the headlights down there. How are we doing there? You come back for a rest, not loads of stressed. No, I'm getting there. Oh, vertically challenged. Yeah. This this thing here is a bit uncomfortable to lean on. Well, you've got plenty of padding, so you should be all right. They go, oh, they're in. That's all right. It's your job, isn't it? doing stuff like this but not when there's well you took them apart all right didn't you keep going there uh, we're on with the wiring still start a solenoid bright light relay fuse that's all connected off of that we've just got to tidy the wiring up here ready to go on the cab hopefully apprentices are uh, nearly finished injectors are in hopefully yeah a bit more of this jigs for puzzle is uh, sorted here we go injectors all back in all connected back up just waiting for the pump so we've got it all ready got it all cleaned up Got all that laid out properly so he knows where everything goes hopefully he can get that done when i'm not here without having to phone me to ask how it goes i would just like to say thank you to ian and archie for the drinks sorry i wasn't here when you visited obviously this is my uh month when i never know when i'm around just turn up when i can also the trophy is still here for happy farmer 595 if you would like to collect it at any point sat there shining in front of this one but yeah thank you again There's the three royal thrones, 1250 seats, all looking rather splendid, in front of the 135. Alright folks, well that's, that'll do for today, thank you for watching, give us the old thumbs up, 
like and subscribe give us a share so nice no surprise today apprentice turning up out of the blue so yeah we got a fair bit done so i'll be messing with wiring on that one so hopefully everything's in place now and injectors are back in this one and that one's on a little polish well she's been polishing it so um yeah until next time thank you very much Cheers.